All right, you little fifth graders. We're moving on in social studies to the Spanish American War. That's right. We're talking about war, violence this week. One of the wars we fought was the Spanish American War. I'm trying to get this camera straight. There we go. Straight as it's going to get. William McKinley. He was the 25th president of the United States from the years 1897 to 1901. He was a soldier in the Civil War and later became a lawyer before he was president. He was the third president to be assassinated. Someone shot him and killed him. He was the president during the Spanish-American War. That is a test question. Who was the president during the Spanish-American War? Cuba. At the end of the 19th century, there was a lot of fighting in Cuba. Cuba is an island. It is also a country. Cuba was under the rule of Spain and wanted to be free. Spain is a country, and it controlled the island of Cuba. The United States was sympathetic. That means they felt sorry for Cuba, but did not want any trouble with Spain. We had just fought the Civil War. We did not have a lot of soldiers because a lot of our soldiers died during the Civil War. We really did not want to fight with Spain because at the time, Spain was the strongest country in the world. But we did feel sorry for our friends in Cuba. Cuba's right here, this green area. And of course, here we are, the great United States of America. President William McKinley had served in the Civil War, so he knew the horrors of war. He didn't want America to get involved in another war. He came up with a plan to send the battleship USS Maine to Cuba. McKinley thought the ship's presence would calm the situation. So there's a picture of the USS Maine. When McKinley sent this battleship to Cuba to see if maybe just the presence of this massive battleship would calm things down. The plan worked for several weeks. Then on February 15th, 1898, the Maine exploded. 266 men died in the blast. The cause of the explosion was not obvious. Even wounded soldiers on the ship could not explain what caused the blast. So no one knows really why the USS Maine exploded. There it is. Beautiful ship. And unfortunately, there it is after the blast. There's a newspaper from that time. U.S. newspapers picked up the story and blamed Spain for the explosion. Spain insisted that the explosion came from inside the ship. Americans read the newspaper stories and demanded that Spain be punished. On April 25th, 1898, President McKinley finally caved. And that means he gave in. And America declared war on Spain. So we decided to go to war with Spain because our battleship, the USS Maine, exploded. And then we have Roosevelt's Rough Riders. There in the middle is Theodore Roosevelt, also known as Teddy Roosevelt, also known as T.R., 
and also known as President Theodore Roosevelt because he later became a president. Uh, the next president, in fact. He organized a team of cowboys, college athletes, and just tough people and decided to leave his desk job and join in the war effort. And Theodore Roosevelt and his Rough Riders, they won the Battle of San Juan Hill. Very important battle during the Spanish-American War, and it made Theodore Roosevelt a hero in the United States. And he later became President of the United States. You see a drawing, Theodore Roosevelt leading his men to charge and to win the battle of San Juan Hill. There were Navy battles as well in the Spanish-American War. By August, the war was over. And the Treaty of Paris of 1898 was signed in December. Spain granted Cuba its freedom. The United States gained the Spanish territories of Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. The United States emerged as a world power after the victory over Spain. <clears throat> So this is the signing of the Treaty of Paris. So the results of the Treaty of Paris, one more time, you've got to know these three things. The United States became a superpower. We have been a superpower ever since. That means we have been the most strongest country, definitely one of the strongest countries in the world ever since the Spanish-American War. Spain gave Cuba freedom. And the United States, we gained the territories of Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines. They did not become states, but we did gain them as territories. And we still have Guam and Puerto Rico as territories today. The Philippines have their freedom. U.S. troops raising the American flag in the Philippines. So Cuba is right here below the United States. Then you have Puerto Rico, not too far away, and the Philippines way across the ocean, the Pacific Ocean. And Guam also across the Pacific Ocean. Last but not least. Have a nice day. It's not pink. It's not pink. It's not pink. It's salmon.